Three bar reversal pattern. Really, it's a very powerful pattern that point us to reversal in trends on any chart, any time frame, any instrument. You will not believe how simple it is the strategy that I'm going to build using this pattern, yet it works very well on Forex, stocks, indexes, crypto, you name it, it's there on any time frame. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and thank you for joining me on Stat Oasis channel where we discuss finance, investing, and algorithmic trading. The aim of the channel is to arm you with the right education to trade the financial market profitably. If you are new to this channel, I welcome you and I invite you to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any of the great content that I post daily on this channel. Also, it would be amazing if you can smash the like button, share the video with others, as this will be a good sign for Google to push the video to other traders, other investors, so they can get some value out of these videos. Now, three-day pattern is just a fancy way to say that we are looking for pivots. And let me show you what a pivot looks like. So if we are in an uptrend, then we look for the pivot at the top, which consists of three bars. So two bars up, one bar down, with the high of the middle bar higher than both adjacent bars. And the low of the current bar is lower than the previous bar. And of course, it's the opposite way. A pivot down is when we are in a downtrend, we are looking for a reversal. So we look for two down bars with this low being lower than these two bars. And then the current high is higher than the previous high. Now, of course, this can be interpreted in many ways. So, for example, I can have... So, even though this is a red bar, still the high is higher than both, and this low is lower than this one. So, this could also work. So, it depends on you. So, there are many definitions that you can interpret this pivot. And the more loose you are in the interpretation, the more trades you're going to find. And the more strict you are, the less trades you're going to find. And of course, the lower the time frame, the more you're going to find it. And the higher the time frame, the less you're going to find it. So this is the S&P 500. So this could be a pivot. This is a pivot. This is a pivot down. This is a pivot up. And if I go Euro USD, so this is a pivot. This is a pivot. And you can see there are different kind of pivots. So this complies with our definition. Two red bars. This low is higher than is lower than these two lows. And then this high is higher than this high. And this pivot also applies. So these are two green bars. This high is higher than uh, two the, these two bars. And this low is lower than this low. This one does not apply because we have two red, one green. But this high is not higher than this one. This pivot applies because two green bars and then this high is higher than both and then this low is lower than this one so you get the idea and then you can even uh, stipulate a minimum let's say the high has to be at least i don't know uh, four ticks higher than the previous high and so on and so forth so like i mentioned the stricter you are the stronger the signal but the less trades and the looser you are with the definition the weaker the signal and the more trades you're gonna have so let's build a strategy around this pattern. So you can build a strategy in any platform. I'm using here Algo Wizard in Strategy Quant X. And instead of writing everything, I build a custom block. So it's uh, because, you know, you, you want to use this many times. So let's go on pivot bottom and trend down. We're looking for this pattern. So currently I just defined this pattern without the trend and we are trading uh, trade station engine euro usd one hour until 2018 one contract no commission and exiting 10 bars and it's a 10 dollar of course that's not enough because there's no commission uh, but the strategy shows some potential i mean it's still profitable and we have 12,000 plus trades if you look at the 
pivots they make sense near support and resistance and in strategy quant x it's not a programming uh, language so it's extremely hard i mean even if in trade station it's also still hard to find to define support and resistance but an easier way to find support and resistance is if we are making a new low so for example look at these these are new lows new low new low new low and then this one is new high new high so this is now a simple definition of a trend which i'm looking for the low which is this low the pivot low should be lower than the past 20 bars so meaning something like this so you can see here this is lower than the past 20 bars this one lower than past 20 bars so i am making sure that we are in a downtrend before i look for this pivot and let's see if this enhances the strategy and uh, it does a lot <laughs> so now we went to 101 dollars from 10 dollars so we it's like 10 times yes and the drawdown went down and of course we lost two-thirds of the trade which is totally fine but we're compounding at 20 uh, almost 20 compound annual growth rate now let's see if i can enhance this because see here i'm waiting for 10 bar putting a profit target in let's say uh, four atrs and a stop loss of four atrs so meaning what meaning if i catch because remember if the if the pivot is so for example in a pivot like this look at these two bars so that's one huge bar that's another huge bar so i might catch my profit target before the 10 bars so it makes sense then to use a uh, number of atrs so let's see if that uh, so currently four four six and look at this if i almost more a little bit more than double the profit target than the stop loss i lower my drawdown even further so right now it's 27 of course i'm still losing some of the profits but if i take them off the drawdown is not that huge difference so maybe just a catastrophic loss i don't know at 10 yeah it doesn't affect it so 10 is good so extremely simple uh, pattern it's a basically a pivot <laughs> three bar uh, pivot and you look for up and down you only need to enhance it by making sure it's happening if it's a bottom uh, pivot then you make sure it's happening at a low and of course the opposite on a higher pivot now this can happen in many ways you might be positioning near a moving average so that's if you are coming down and the pivot happens at a moving average then that's near support also you can use a rsi so if it uh, coincide the pivot coincide with the lower rsi then most likely that's also a low so there are many ways to make sure that this pivot happening in a significant place so let's look at the uh, holdout period so data up to september 20 and uh, it looks like we're doing well so in 2020 we started to make a new high so two and a half years of stagnation but the drawdown is low which is really good and then we made new highs in 2020 and we made in january we made a new high and i think we are very close now and this is the short side so same settings now we're looking for a pivot top where the high is the highest than 20 bars ago and it's almost same number of trades but the return to drawdown ratio is lower because we have a higher drawdown and we are making almost half the profits from the long side so we might try different settings for the lower side so for example if i look for the highest high of 30 bars we get a little bit better return to drawdown ratio so as you can see of course there are many many variations to the strategy the strategy is very simple you can add volatility filters you can add uh, profit targets stop loss you can optimize those and you can marry it with other indicators 
Uh, but the the concept is extremely simple, which is we are looking for tops, we are looking for bottoms at a significant level, which is usually a previous uh, high or a previous low or near support. So I hope this opened your eyes to a new way to build strategy because this is a unique way to build strategies as we are not just blindly going with a mirror version strategy. Instead, we are waiting for a reversal path. It's like, it's like a confirmation. Of course, if you have any questions, I will be more than happy to answer them if you comment down below. And you can join the Discord server through the Patreon link down below where I host a live seminar every week to answer questions. And of course, we have signals for the stock portfolio and the tactical asset allocation portfolio. As always, good luck with your trading. Good luck with your investing. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.